So for the belt, you want to start by cutting yourself a piece of pallon 3 inches wide and long enough to go all the way around your waist. Then you want to get yourself some gold foil fabric. You can also use yellow if you want to be a little more traditional, but I like the gold because it matches the rest of my family's Justice League costumes. You just want to lay your pallon strip out on that and cut the gold fabric out around it, leaving about an inch out round. And then you're just going to fold that up and glue it in place all the way down the belt. And then you just want to do the belt buckle pieces, and you can either draw these freehand, or if you want a template, I do have one available at thewoodlandelf.com slash pattern slash batman. So then you just take each of those pieces and glue it to the back side of some of that gold foil fabric. And then you'll just cut each piece out, cutting the foil fabric right next to the pellon all the way around. Just like that. And again, you'll do that with all the pieces of the buckle. And so in order to get these to actually stick to each other, the hot glue doesn't glue very well to this foil fabric, so you just want to scratch off some of that glittery gold on top, and that way the pieces that you glue on top will hide the scratches, but it will give the hot glue something to attach to. So you just glue them all in place until you get the whole buckle done. So then you just want to take a snap and put it on one side of the buckle, and just take a needle and some gold thread and sew that in place. And if you can, you want to aim it in one of those little notches on the front of the buckle, and it'll make it look kind of natural. And so there it is once I've got it sewn on. You can see it on the front side and the back side. And so then just assemble the belt the way it will sit when it's actually sewn together and just mark with your thumb where the other snap should go and then just sew that in place. And so then the two ends should just snap right together just like that. And so then the other side of the belt you want to bring that around and you'll just sew it right across so it's in place. Here it is once I've sewn it and then I did some fake lines on the other side as well so that the sewing lines were the same on each side even though I didn't need them just so the belt looked even on both sides. So then cut some rectangles out of pellon. You want them to be a little bit wider than the belt. And then take some more of the gold foil fabric and just hot glue all four of those rectangles on the back side of the foil fabric and then just cut them out like you did with all the other belt buckle pieces. And then you'll just place those evenly around the belt. And just like the belt buckles, you have to scrape off some of the gold coating, otherwise the hot glue won't stick to it. So just scrape off some lines that are thin enough for those rectangles to cover and then just run a line of hot glue down that and glue each one in place. And so to attach the batarang to the belt you just want to take a strip of the gold fabric make sure it's long enough to go all the way around the belt and then you'll take some sticky back velcro and stick a piece in the center of that and stick the corresponding piece in the center of the back of the bat And then you'll take a couple more pieces and stick one piece on one end of the strip, one piece on the other side of the strip, so that it can just fasten right around the belt. And this way, if you don't want to attach the batarang, you don't have to. You can just take the gold strip off. And so the batarang is now removable, and then it just sticks right back on there with the Velcro. And so then I took a piece of fake black leather, and I did the same thing with the Velcro. Only this one was done a little bit differently because the grappling gun is heavier than the batarang and I was afraid that it would fall off if it wasn't secured. So basically just take that, wrap it through the trigger, and then velcro it in place on the back side of the belt. And so that's what the belt looks like with the grappling gun and the bat attached. So for the gloves, you want to cut a piece of pallon that is big enough to wrap around whatever glove you're going to use. I just got a cheap pair of black gloves. Then you want to cut it off at an angle so it's wider at the bottom than it is at the top. And then again it should still be wide enough to wrap all the way around the bottom of the glove. 
and then take some of the fake black leather. This is the same stuff I use for Batman's cape. You will just lay your pellon out on top of that. And you want to make sure that on the one side it should be about an inch bigger than the fake black leather. And that will give the hot glue something to attach to when the pieces come all the way around. And so just take your hot glue gun and run a line across one end of the pellon. And then just fold the fake black leather down around it on the back side there. And do that all the way around all three sides. And then over on the corner you'll have a little bit of excess fabric. You'll just want to trim that off. And then flip it over and you'll want to glue down that last side so that it stays in place. And so then everything should line up properly when you fold it around. So then just put some hot glue in the middle of the pellon along the top edge and lay the base of the glove right along that. And then put some more hot glue over a little farther along the top of the pellon and roll that in. And you kind of want to put your hand in the glove so that it maintains the proper shape when it's drying. And then do the same thing with the other side of the pellon. Roll that right around the glove. And then you'll just go all the way down the side of the pellon and that'll glue right to that white strip of the pellon that got left open on the other side. Just like that. And then at the bottom, you just want to cut off any excess so that you get a nice smooth round edge, just like that. So then I cut five little scales out of some craft foam, and um, I kind of went with a shredder look here, but you can just do three if you want to be a little more traditional. And so then took some fake black leather and hot glued one side of all those scales down on the leather. And then just cut right out around the scales all the way around so that you get one side that's totally covered in the fake black leather. And then once you've got all those covered, you just take another piece of the same material and again lay it face down and then just hot glue all those pieces, the side that doesn't have the fake black leather on it, you just want to hot glue that and put them all face down on that piece of material and then once again just cut them all out. And so that way you end up with a bunch of little scales that have that fake black leather look on both sides. Just like that. And so to get these to stick to the gloves you actually have to cut slits in the fake black leather because hot glue does not stick to the stuff at all. So you cut slits and then you just glue the scales right onto the slits. Just put a little glue along the bottom of the scale and stick it right on the slit and that'll give it something to attach the hot glue to. And again, I did kind of the, the shredder thing here with the five scales staggering them, but if you want to be more traditional you can just do the three scales right in a row. And so here is my finished glove. Damn you!